Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you according to the time you are listening to this particular voice or here in this, uh, watching this video. Today guys, I'm going to look at the important, the spiritual powers of rice water. Yes, someone asked me in my WhatsApp group as in what are the significant because I was made mention of it. I was, how do we use rice water to manifest what you want, our heart desire. Alright guys, I also remember before I proceed, Last time I make mention of you putting rice where you are sleeping. If you are the type that you don't normally sleep well, maybe you don't normally sleep well. You find it difficult to sleep at night. Maybe you normally have nightmare. Just sprinkle rice on your bed and tell me how you sleep. Come back and testify on the on the comment section your experience when you put rice on your bed. How you, where you sleep. I also make mention of putting rice where you are keeping your money. It will help manifest good energy. Yes, so that's. Please don't come and manipulate that money and you don't know what you do with that money. Okay, that's not what you are looking at today. We are going to look at uh, rice water, how you can use rice water to attract money. And uh, before then, remember I like dropping a secret each and every time I'm making a video. Do you know that a fly, house fly, a house fly for example, house fly for example, part of it contain disease, right? And part of it contain the cure to that disease, that is attitude. node. Okay, so anytime maybe your food, a fly patch on that food that you get, and maybe a particular deserve eta, push the whole fly inside that food, remove that fly from that food. There's no arm that will come to you from that fly again. Okay, that's not that's not about the topic of today. Today we are looking at how you can use rice water to attract money to manifest your heart desire. How do you do this? All you need to do is just get rice water, especially local rice. Okay, rice is rice though. You can use for rice, but me, I prefer using local rice. Okay, so just get local rice, boil it. You can cook the rice, the remaining rice, and chop it if you like. You can throw it away if you like. Preferably, just feed it to the fowl, to the birds. Okay, put on it and feed it to the birds. And there's spiritual power to that as well, especially if you are the type that you have shop, you set this. Okay, just feed the rice to the bed. Let the rice water. Okay. Use it to take your bath when you are going to bed without talking to another person. All you have to do is just filter the rice water out, get your bitty water in your bucket. After your bitty water is set in your bucket, then mix that rice water with the water in your bucket, okay? Then you take it to your bedroom, then you remove all your clothes. Not evil rings should be on your finger. You should come to, you will be the way you come to this world. Yes, you should be the way you come to this world. That is, there will be nothing on you, not evil slippers you are putting on, okay? When you're 100% naked, all you need to do is hold that water, pray on it what you want and how you want it to be, money, everything. You can also do this when you know that three days to the day you are going to ask somebody for a favor. Do this. Three days to the day you are going for interview. Do this. Okay? It will help you get fever, especially fever that has to do with money. Okay? Yes. Yeah, so after you're done with the bath, after you make all your prayers on the water, then you're done with the bath, you just go inside asleep without talking to anybody again till the next day and this particular one you can you can do it this way and it says that it, it must not necessarily mean it must be seven eight nine do it where you know you are going to sleep so that you can do it and go to bed on time so when you are done with the with the bath you are not going to clean yourself with towel you leave your body let your body dry naturally yes you are going to leave your body so that your body dry naturally Secondly, you are not going to use sponge or soap. Yes, don't ask if I should, should I use sponge, should I use soap? No, you are not to use any soap, you are not to use any sponge. And when, after you don't take your bath, you are not to dry your body with towel. Allow your body to dry naturally, okay? And if you know that, ask question in the comment section, I will definitely get back to you, okay? If you find this video helpful, do wait to hit that like button. And this is your full time, subscribe so that you will not miss other important videos from me. If you want to join my WhatsApp group for free, let me know in the comment section.